Guys, you guys can ask me this a hundred times, two hundred times if you wish. I am the Oracle. How dare you! I want you people to understand something. Karen Jean Pierre is the Oracle and Greta Thunberg all wrapped up in one. Get it through your mind. If you don't mind. Um, given these documents are shown up in very personal spaces, we all know that the President uh, you know, loves his Delaware home. It's an extremely personal space for him. Is he physically joining in the search of these things, rummaging around, you know, these boxes in the garage and wherever else? I mean, literally. Are you are you are you listening to your the question that you're asking me? This is all wrong. Look, I mean, okay. Look, look. In searching for his own documents. Look, I'm going to be very consistent here. I shouldn't be up here. This is all wrong. Uh, I am going to be very clear here, uh, as I have been for the past couple of days, almost a week now. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. I shouldn't be here. Uh, dealing with this. Uh, you know, we are going to any specific questions that you have about this issue. Yet, you all come to us young people for hope. Karen Jean Pierre and the President takes classified information very, very seriously. Guys, you guys can ask me this a hundred times, two hundred times if you wish. How dare you! I'm going to keep saying the same thing. I hear your question. It's been asked. It's been answered. We shouldn't be here. How dare you? It's been noted, and we're just going to try to move on here. You have stolen my dreams. Stop asking tough questions. The, the search is clearly complete. They completed uh, the, uh, uh, the search. So is this the same oracle that made the uh, prophecy? The search is complete. Uh, he is confident in this process. She doesn't know the answer. With your empty words. I will say this, and you've heard me say this many times before. Uh, this is a president that believes in the independence of uh, the Justice Department. This is something that he has been saying uh, since the campaign. And My childhood with your empty words. Tumbling down the rabbit hole. How can President Biden be trusted moving forward with America's secrets? Because his lawyers... Are you stupid or something? How dare you? His team did the right thing. But he had a closet with he, classified information. His lawyers information did the right... Again, again. I don't know. You don't know or you won't tell me. Again, did he, did, he was right surprised thing? that the records were there. He spoke to this. It doesn't matter. It's my choice. Personally, he was surprised that the, that the records were there. Did you not hear her answer the question? And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. The power of the one extends beyond this world. And when his lawyers found out and his team found out that they were there. People are suffering. People are dying. I should not be here. Uh, they turned it over to their archives, and now it's being reviewed by the Department of Justice. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. You're here because you know something. Oh, I'm sorry. I was calling the gentleman who wanted to ask a question that was not related to this. Go ahead. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. What you know you can't explain. But you feel it. Guys, you guys can ask me this a hundred times, two hundred times if you wish. How dare you? I dare you ask the Oracle a tough question. I'm going to keep saying the same thing. I'm the Oracle. I hear your question. It's been asked. It's been answered. It's been noted. And we're just going to try to move on here. For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. Would the president agree to sit for an on-the-record in-person I'm, I'm not going to get into specifics or get ahead of what's going to happen. I'm not going to get into hypotheticals because that is a hypothetical. I dare you ask the Oracle a tough question. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
I have, you guys have answered questions when the press has broken in the news. Because it's an ongoing process. How dare you continue to look away? I am the oracle. There is a process here. The Department of Justice is independent. We respect that process. She shouldn't be here. And come here saying that you're doing enough. You've heard me say this over and over in restoring uh, that ind independence. I told you I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. So, uh, look, we have been very, very careful here uh, not to appear from the White House to influence their decision making. Did you not get the memo? And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. I am the Oracle. On, 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 uh, on uh, any number of issues, as you've heard me say over and over again, I've said this many times, I'm sure someone has counted the amount of times that I've said that the Department of Justice is independent and we respect their independence. People are suffering. People are dying. Give me your email. I will email you. On these documents, how could anyone be that irresponsible? How dare you? It, isn't that what this president says about mishandling classified documents? This is all wrong. What's your phone number? I'll send you a text message for the answer. The president spoke to this personally. He spoke to this personally. He, again, he believes that uh, classified documents and information should be taken seriously. I shouldn't be up here. Seriously, he takes them seriously, and he was surprised it's, to it's learn by any any records. Been, I disagree. That you are a slave, Neo. I am certainly not going to uh, comment on uh, uh, or, or give my opinion. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. This is all wrong. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or the White House says Republicans are faking outrage on this issue. Why shouldn't Americans be outraged about classified documents being found in a garage? Stop asking tough questions, damn it. How dare you? Look, and I think I've been very clear about this. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. We have answered questions on this. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. You have to see it for yourself. At this podium, you've heard, as Phil was saying twice from the president, talk about this. This is your last chance. With your empty words. Right, he said that he was surprised, and he said that he takes classified information and documents very, very seriously. We heard directly from the president on this issue. After this, there is no turning back. And yet... I'm one of the lucky ones. You take the blue pill. The story ends. Again, I'm not going to get into the details. I'm not going to get beyond what the president shared yesterday. Did you not get the memo? You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. People are suffering. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. People are dying. Guys, you guys can ask me this a hundred times, two hundred times if you wish. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. The search is complete. Uh, he is confident in this process. Are you stupid or something? And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. I am the oracle. Uh, or we, or, are we going to give our opinion on what the Attorney General laid out today? The answer is... I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. How dare you!